Well, we have Kevin Garrity with us from uh, Riverside Machine and Engineering up in Eau Claire. Kevin, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Really, really good. Hey, um, so tell us a little bit about Riverside. Yeah, so uh, we are um, a vacuum aluminum brazing provider. Um, our history kind of dates back to Cray Engineering out of Chippewa Falls here. Uh, fortunate enough to expand into our new facility in Eau Claire here. Um, going on almost 10 years now. And so we've got a machine shop that's really set up to uh, service our, our vacuum aluminum brazing. So um, majority of our customers are aerospace defense, some high uh, technology, semiconductor stuff. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of interest lately from commercial, um, whether it be basically commercial batteries, whether they go in a vehicle or, or go into different sources to use them. And what's your role with the with the company? Sure, I'm in the business development department and as hired on uh, going on three years now to do sales. So mainly handle um, new accounts, incoming sales, the the oddities that wouldn't typically fit with an account manager. Uh, it ends up on my desk. So how did you get into AI? How did this become a thing for you? Yeah, well, I, you know, it's always been kind of an interest, um, and then starting. I want to say really November-ish of 2022, um, OpenAI released their chat GPT uh, for public release and uh, found a thread on Twitter and actually linked over to it and uh, signed up to free account and was able to start playing around with it. And uh, it's been uh, able to do some, some pretty cool stuff for us. What's the, what are the interesting things that you've found about chat GPT so far? Well, you know, I, I don't really I have a machining background, so I don't really have a computer coding background, but uh, I do like to use it to kind of expand on what I can do. So I've uh, done everything from have it generate some PowerPoints and slideshows for us in meetings, um, kind of summarize meeting notes, you know, take everybody's meeting notes, summarize them down. And then uh, it'll actually write the little bat files for me, little scripts to kind of help me improve my day, kind of save a little bit of time. Yeah. Give, give us some examples of that. Yeah, so um, I work with a lot of engineers. They're very uh, um, detailed people. And so when we're building file structures on our internal shares, they have a, a very specific way that like folders laid out. And uh, it was just kind of looking around the office. It's taken a little bit of time for all of us to lay them out that way. Um, I was able to feed ChatGP to that file structure and ask it very nicely to give me a little bat file that would generate those folders automatically. And so it did. Um, I then asked it for instructions on how to make that work. It spit that out. Um, I was able to troubleshoot a few errors just by copying the errors I got and throwing them right back in there. And after about 10 minutes, I had a working uh, file that would allow me to generate a pretty pretty good file structure. And it would prompt me for part numbers or revisions. And uh, it's been pretty pretty big helpful for me. How, how much time do you think it saved you, all, you know, in the course of a week? You know, um, just maybe not that, but it, I always have the browser open there. Um, got to be kind of careful what you're sharing with it. Remember, everything on the Internet's forever. But um, the biggest thing I probably use it for is a spell check or ask it how clear this email is I have going out there. And uh, so if it's uh, if you get an email from me and it's got a semicolon in it, chances are ChatGPT helped me put that there. So are there a group of you that, that's using AI? There is. So in the office here, there is a group of us that do it. Um, and uh, it's always fun to kind of look up and say, hey, was that JGPT or was that you? You know, um, but uh, we all kind of have our own little use cases for it. And, um, yeah, it's been growing. So do you cut do you do you collaborate or are you just uh, working individually? Uh, so far, it's mostly been working individually. And is there any, as you're working through these things, are there places where you're seeing opportunities where um, the company can really make some advances and not just in individual little little silos? Yeah. You know, actually, I was at a trade show last month and uh, I was approached by somebody who'd mentioned she'd been working on a number of years ago um, using large language models to do um, job planning, you know, within manufacturing plants. So. Um, it was nice to get her contact and I, I kind of put her in contact with our process engineers. Um, so there is some really, really big advantages that are either out there right now or, or will be coming in the future that we're, we're really hoping to capitalize on. 
you know, what do you think some of those advantages are? You know, any of your repeat tasks, which, you know, I think as everybody likes to say is if it's uh, repetitive, it can be automated. So um, traditionally, we've always thought about that as the collaborative robots in the machine shop um, or inspection. And uh, really, this is kind of a collaborative robot for the office environment. So um, I will say, as somebody who's not the greatest uh, with grammar, that I'm very happy to see this. <laughs> so, is your uh, so is your management support this? Are they actively involved? Are they um, just hands off, or how are they approaching AI with everybody using it within the company? Yeah, they're definitely not hands off. So, like I said earlier, you got to be careful what you're feeding it. So. Um, you can't feed it anything proprietary or, or would be, you know, any of the defense or aerospace stuff we see here. You got to be very careful what you're giving it. So um, there's definitely been interest in there to make sure it's, you know, being used correctly. Um, we are working through technology planning beginning of the year and figuring out how this is going to fit in there is, is a big part of that. Yeah. So are you using this, are you using the technology at all with, with customers in, in a way to reach them more effectively or get quicker feedback or someplace that would improve your relationship with them? Yeah. So, you know, a lot of pop-up meetings, it's, it's nice to use uh, to generate a slide deck, you know, and uh, that's been really helpful for me for going, Hey, 15 minutes, we have a meeting. Can you sit in on this? We need to present something. That, that's always nice. Um, I uh, heavily used it to write our, our Christmas greeting email, which uh, worked out really nice. So I was pretty happy with how that came out in the end. Um, but past that, not, not much yet. Yeah. What's the most interesting thing you've, you've, you've seen it used for, or you've used it for yourself? Um, it was probably going and, and having it write, uh, you know, a little bit of Java or some batch files that, uh, is something I haven't invested a whole lot of time in learning to do myself. Um, so asking it to do it for me and you kind of you know, play a little prompt engineer there and you tell it it's a world-class, you know, Java developer and you're feeding information back to somebody who doesn't know anything about Java. Here's what they want to do. How would you accomplish this? And then having it kind of walk you through that process, um, which is, you know, really different than Googling it. You know, I don't, I don't need to know what I need to Google. Uh, it, it's feeding it to me. So um, that's been really enjoyable. So have you run into any really um, wild hallucinations using the tool? Any places where it's really gotten you into a jam? Um, nowhere it's gotten to a jam yet. I've been, uh, you know, obviously aware that they can just make stuff up. So um, make sure that anything that it, it's kind of spit out is is factual. Thank you, Google. Um, but uh, yeah, not yet. I haven't ran into that, not, not on purpose at least. It's kind of fun to tell it to keep going or, you know, make this more descriptive and eventually just word jarble. But uh, um, as long as you're keeping it, it kind of short and uh, it's been pretty effective for us. It seems like you've really jumped into this with, uh, with both feet and you have brought yourself up the curve. Are there anything, anything that's been particularly helpful to you? Anything that you've either picked up on your own or outside resources that you can pass along to the folks who are watching? Yeah, um, actually, IBM's got a, a skills builder course that's out. Uh, it's about eight hours, uh, about halfway through it right now. And it really started with kind of the very basics of, of, of AI or terminology and um, what it can be used for. And, and so far, I'm finding that to be pretty interesting. I find myself going back and, and re-looking through little learning modules. Um, and yeah, so far, that's been probably the, the biggest, um, most helpful uh, resource I've found. Yeah, what are the one or two things that you you learned there that were the most helpful? Um, really kind of going back and, and and I guess the most one is, you know, it, it walks you through uh, what generative AI is or general AI, um, what AI is and, and how it's actually already being used. You, you interact with it uh, all the time. And uh, yeah, just really seeing the history that it's 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 older than than, you know, ChatGP when they came out with chat GPT when they came out with it about a year and a half ago now. So um, if we're talking to you a year from now, what are you doing differently? What, where, where are you going with this? I don't know yet. That's, that's kind of been the fun part of this here. So um, I, it's on my phone, you know, I've, I've used it everything from, Hey, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Feeding a couple of things I have around the house and it, 
it's bits of a recipe, you know, which the, the two I've tried have been all right. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's obviously advancing pretty fast here. It's, it's here to stay. So, um, no, I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah. Are there any, you, you talked about how fast it's going. Are you, where are you finding your information? How are you staying up to date on this or at least close to the cutting edge? Yeah, um, thankfully, my kind of news feed, thanks in large in part to AI algorithms, is, is feeding me that stuff on, on a daily basis. You know, you click on it once or twice and it starts really pushing that uh, to the forefront. So um, really kind of in the morning, start my day off by by looking up, you know, top stories and all of that's right there. So we've talked a lot about the upside here. What do you see as some of the downsides of, of AI and chat GPT and the generative AI? Well, you know, it's going to be a change. So I kind of, we were talking through this with a tour we had here and um, a bunch of different people there. And somebody mentioned, you know, when the calculator came out, everybody was worried, you know, how is this going to change how we work? And then uh, we had that with the internet, you know, started out first grade with the old green and black screened Apple IIEs. And by the time I got into college, I had full internet access. It's relatively the same today. Um, this, is, this is probably going to have the same kind of impact. Um, challenge wise, you know, the internet's forever. So anything you feed it, it's going to ingest and it's going to use that to, uh, to get better. And it's going to keep that. So you got to be very careful of what you're feeding it. Uh, as you mentioned before, it likes to hallucinate and make stuff up when it doesn't know what's going on. That's obviously a problem. And I, I don't know if everybody understands why it does that yet. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to change, you know, probably in my lifetime, a uh, substantial part or large part of my life. So um, being able to cope with that and uh, make sure you can understand it and are able to use it, you know, program the VCR. Um, yeah, it's going to, going to be, going to be fun. So it sounds like you really jumped into this and you've gotten a long way and, you know, you, you probably have some advice for people that are just starting out or, or maybe a little bit hesitant about making that first move. What would you suggest for them? Well, jump into it. Um, so if you've got somebody around the office that you've always considered to be a little techie, uh, always have the latest gadgets, go approach them and see if they're using it. Chances are they've, they've at least heard about it. Uh, number two would be, you know, uh, a lot of these are free. It's sitting at the top of your Google searches probably right now. Uh, Bing has got the... Uh, AI availability there. Chat GPT, they need an email address to register to it. Um, log into them and start playing around with it. See what it can do. Um, ask it a bunch of questions. See what it's what it's good at, uh, what it's not good at, and uh, and really go from there. Any place I need to worry about getting into trouble just by trying it? Um, you know, not that I've found so far. So I. Uh, um, again, haven't used it for, you know, serious business decisions yet. So, you know, I'm still working on a trust issue with, uh, with new technology there, but, um, no, so far, a lot of what I've been doing, has just been playing around with it. And it's been good. Good. So, you know, we've had a decent conversation here and you've given us some really good information. There's one or two things that you'd like to underline for people to really take away from this chat. What would they be? Um, first off, it's here to stay. Um, it's, it's already a major part of our, our lives and our economy. It's not going away. So it's not something we can hide from. Um, it's going to change the way we work. I, I truly feel that's, that's the truth. Um, I don't quite understand how it, that will be. I don't think anybody does. But um, make sure you're not uh, too far behind the curve on it. Jump in, you know, feet first and uh, play around with it and uh, find ways to help it improve your life. Hey, Kevin Garrity from Riverside Machine and Engineering. I appreciate the time. Thanks for the, thanks for the conversation. It's been terrific. It's great talking to you. Thank you.